Hello, this is George from ExcelUnusual.com. Today I will be handing out a sample file of a very simple motor. It, it, it is essentially a crank, connection rod and piston mechanism. Uh, you can run it in various modes. You can change the speed here. If you click on the green button, there's a animation macro and you can run it both ways rotating clockwise and rotated, rotating counterclockwise you can also stop it hitting either of these buttons will stop the macro and then there's another macro that has a modulated time modulated uh, speed rotational speed so it goes between low speed high speed, negative and positive speed. Essentially I used trigonometric function of sinus dependent on the time, on the index. You know, there's a, like a little, how do you say, loop in each macro. And uh, in order to make this, I uh, also created a model in um, PowerPoint and you can see here you can see here the fairly basic geometry I used everything employed here was made so that the compression of this uh, piston and cylinder is always 1 over 9 another thing you can stop it from here and uh, you can stop it from any and start again let's say start this macro while you run it you can increase the crank size or decrease it okay you can uh, change the connection rod you know length you can increase the the diameter of the cylinder and piston and you can also increase or decrease the length so this being said next week we will be starting a tutorial for about this how to create an engine and uh, there will be several sections the first one will start with uh, how to think, how to create this. From a technical point of view, we will create a PowerPoint uh, presentation, just like this one. PowerPoint blueprint, let's say. And um, after that, once we have the formulas right and the drawings, it's very, very easy to create this in Excel. So download this and play with it. Try to change it or at least play with it and uh, move these um, parameters around. Alright, thank you and I will see you soon.